Hello guys, this is Kelly and today I'm back again with a brand review but today it's a little bit different where I'm going to review an active wear brand and this is a local brand from Singapore um, it's called Kaidra and if you actually followed my Instagram I've been super into like, spin class and I want to get more active wear and you know in Singapore like it's just really limited like the local active wear brands are just you know starting up and I don't know if the price range is worth the quality so I usually get from Gymshark or even um, if I have extra money I would get it from Lululemons but um, I kind of want to venture into local active wear brands especially if I want to get it in store or um, you know I want to get like express shipment within one to two days I want to get it from a local boutique I wanted to try this brand out uh, I actually did purchase a few pieces before this um, birthday anniversary sale that they had. Um, previously, I got a collaboration with Saffron and I think their quality is pretty good. So recently, they had their birthday sale um, and it was a 20% off. Their leggings are originally $70 to $80 um, and with the 20% off, I got a pretty good deal. Um, I got this impact legging that I really like in black and um, it is in size S. It's a little bit tight but um, for impact leggings you can either like size up or like you know if you are okay with the smaller tighter fit um, you can just go ahead with your normal size. So I didn't know about it so um, I just opted for size S. It's a little bit snug but to be honest after a few wears I am totally fine with it already. Uh, it looks really nice and it just accentuates my legs. Um, other than that I think it's just really comfortable, very stretchy and I decided to buy another pair. Uh, I got the impact legging in red and also I got the flexible legging and I bought both in size M because um, at first I thought that a size S was a little bit too you know small but other than that um, I can my size ranges between um, size M and size S I think I'm in between sizes so I'm okay with the fit for size S or M um, yeah so I'm just gonna show you guys the things that I bought and Yep, really excited for this video. Anyway, this video is not sponsored, so don't worry. I'm just gonna give you my, like, even if it's sponsored, I would give you my honest opinion. So yeah, we shall see. And yeah, oh, oh my god, I'm getting sweaty because it's so warm in Singapore. Okay. Yep. Um, this first one, it's um the collaboration bralette uh with saffron and I think this is a really nice top. Just that it actually like squeezes out the armpit fats, which I don't like. But other than that, I feel that it's a really nice and different like sport bra. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys like the close up in a bit. This bra top. Oh, I don't know why I have a scratch here, but it's really nice because I think it's very different. But I don't know why this cutting actually squeeze out the armpit fats here. But it's a really nice cutting. You can wear it as a top, you know, to go out and stuff. Um, I just feel that like if you have armpit fat, it's just, you know, a little bit too revealing, you know, this part. So yeah, it's just like squeezing this armpit fat out. But yeah, I think overall it looks really nice. So it also has this like collaboration trademark logo here. It's quite cute. Um, the back view is just, and I have like my gua sha scars behind, so don't mind me. And this is the impact leggings that I was talking about. It's very comfy, and um, the leggings are just very nice and tight. And it also has this um back pocket. Okay, so especially for black leggings, if it's nice and tight and it's fitted, it kind of accentuates your legs and your figure, so I think it hugs nicely. Hello, I'm back and it's the next morning, I'm so sorry. That's why um, there's a change in my makeup and everything. Right now I have no makeup on and I'm gonna get ready for spin class again, but I wanna finish up this video. So um, I have here the Kydra um, sports bra. This is the super simple one, as you can see. And um, back view is just very normal. It's a low cut one. 
and then um, I have the impact leggings the same one that I was wearing yesterday in size M um, I think this is a little bit more comfy um, for me um, it's in this like maroon color but I think it shows up better in real life right now just looks super dark um, anyway today's lighting is way better yeah and then this outfit also looks pretty cute oh okay you can see now it's like a nice maroon color um, I do think that the black one um, kind of feels a little bit more fitted definitely because it was size S but this one if you you know you want to wear it to um, the airport or you want to like wear it over like a long flight I think it's um, pretty comfy and it's very stretchy as well oh, but this one okay honestly this one right like the sides um, I feel that it's a little bit looser so I don't think you know sometimes when you're like working out like you might have to just like pull up a little bit here and there um, so for the for the one in S, I don't have to constantly pull it up uh, but you know like it still is but yeah it still is nice and yeah it's alright I'm gonna try on um, the flexible one in turquoise or teal. I am very excited for that because that is the flexible leggings, I guess, for yoga or something. Hello, so this is the flexible leggings um, in size M. To be honest, this is a little bit too loose for me, um, as you can see. And I don't know, um, it's very comfortable, like definitely like I can lounge in this and you know do yoga and like stretch but I just feel that like you know it's sliding down already and um, I don't know like I know that um, for flexible leggings um, the size runs a little bit larger but I don't know like it would be this loose and um, yeah it looks like that I don't know it has two pockets here, which is very convenient. Um, the impact leggings only have a back zip, so yeah, that's the difference. And you can just like put your um, cell phone here. Mm, I know that this um, is definitely like for yoga and stuff, but it's way too loose for me. And size M is just, I don't know, like, I don't know why there are sizes that like varies that much. I like the colour though, it's like a teal and actually it still looks like a hazy blue Triceps, ooh, triceps Okay, I hardly even have it but just wanted flex <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm just gonna go try on the, the short bicep, bike pant Hello so this is the bike shorts in navy and size M and I don't know, I look very weird in these bike shorts. I look like I'm gonna go for like, I don't know, gymnastic class or I don't know, it looks like my dad's old swim. It looks like my dad's old swimming underwear but Anyway, it looks like that and this size M it's way too huge. You can see that like this this gaps. So I think this is way too huge. You can see there's gaps um at the end, like the waistline. I don't know, I just can't pull off bike shorts. Uh, I don't mind wearing like a graphic tee over and then just like wearing this out because you know it just looks like those um, Kylie Jenner or like Kendall Jenner model of duty kind of fashion. Yeah, but yeah, overall I think it still looks fine. Just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about bike shorts to be honest. But yeah, um, so the... Okay, so one thing about bike shorts is that they are so long here, right? Like kind of makes you look like you have really short legs. I don't know, my opinion. Tell me you- Hello guys, so this is the 
same bike shorts in white and this is in size S. Um, as you can see right now, it's a little bit translucent. So I think by quality wise, it's a little bit off this time, especially in white. And then you can see that um, it fits well. I like the fitting. I think size S is my um, true size, but I don't know, like it still is a little bit tight. Um, like other than that, like, I think it's all right. The, the, the length is good. So I just don't know if I could pull this off, like this bike shorts fashion. Um, yeah, but like white on white is definitely way nicer. And yeah. I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks. The back. So yeah, I'm done with the haul and if you guys like hauls, clothing hauls or active wear hauls or you know more fitness content, let me know down below in the comments. Hi guys, this is Kelly and today I'm gonna try on the Fabletics leggings and I'll see if I like it or not. This is not sponsored so um, everything will be in my honest opinion. Even if it's sponsored, it will still be in my honest opinion. Um, I just wanted to try this out because I saw a lot of YouTubers like advertising for Fabletic. So the leggings were pretty affordable and the marketing is super duper strong. The newsletter is crazy so I mean if you guys are interested continue watching and you know recently I've been into more active wear and more fitness stuff so if you guys are interested just follow me on Instagram for my daily updates as well as um, subscribe down below if you guys are interested um, you can leave me some video ideas for you know fitness videos that you want to watch me do um, I'll just hope that my video entertain you guys so yeah I'm just gonna try on um, the leggings. Um, so I have a few leggings here that I bought. So I think Fabletics had a deal like for two for maybe 25 and then I bought the sports bra to try out. And okay so the first one it's this utility leggings and then um, I got it in this grey colour and then I have the everyday bra here. It's pretty nice. Um, I think it's nice but um, one thing about the US um, labels is that um, the sizing can run a little bit bigger so I guess for Singaporeans we are all pretty used to having a little bit um, smaller fitted um, sizes here because I think um, in Singapore the girls are a little bit more petite so I should have sized down um, now I'm wearing size S, I should have gotten XS or something. So um, it's not as tight fitted as I want it to be. Um, the leggings are okay, but I can feel that, you know, there's a little bit of um, loose looseness. Like it's not very fitted, um, not how I like it. And then um, the bra top is also, I don't know, is it because if, you know, like I don't have enough flesh in this area but um if you can see like there's a little bit of like holes here and i just don't like how it feels um but other than that by you know design wise i quite like it this utility um leggings they have cute zips here and then um the back looks like that Yeah, design-wise, I quite like it. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. So, another thing about having a looser legging is that sometimes when I um, go for spin class or if I do like um, more strenuous activities or training, um, I still have to keep pulling the pants up, which is very annoying. And okay, I mean like if you're wearing it to the airport or just, you know, leisure, for leisure, uh, I think it's alright, it's quite comfortable. Um, it's not um, as smooth as Lululemon's, of course, because of the price and I mean the quality is pretty good already. So yeah, this is pretty nice. So 
well, there you have it for the first set. So this is the everyday bra in white in size S. Utility leggings, um, high-waisted in grey. Just wanted to give you guys a closer look and how stretchy this is. It's actually really stretchy. And yeah. The seams are like nicely sewed. Um, don't really have any frills. Um, very stretchy. And the quality is pretty okay. Um, slightly on the rougher side. I think it's also because of um, you know value for money and stuff. Um, but yeah, I really like it. As in, I guess the color combi here is <laughs> pretty coordinated, pretty nice. And yeah, it just looks really sporty. And active wear don't just have to be, oh my god, the zip has a problem. <gasps> oh. So it's like a sense of fashion in active wear. And I just feel that active wear don't have to be as boring as it is. Um, previously, I was really just into Adidas and Nikes but yeah I don't mind venturing out and getting newer fanciful designs for active wear I think it can just like boost up my confidence and also to pump me up for my trainings which is good okay let's change out and I'll try the other set so I have here the high-waisted pocketed leggings in burgundy and also the same everyday bra in maroon. Both are in size S and as you can see I keep pulling up my pants because it is very loose. Um, but I want to say that this um, high-waisted pocketed leggings is way more comfortable than the utility leggings that I've worn. Um, we'll try some colours. So I wanted to incorporate more colours into uh, my active wear because most of them are usually black in colour. Um, so for the everyday bra, this one, um, it has a medium support, um, removable cups, um, adjustable and convertible straps, multi-way bra straps as well, and a C-hook and eye closure with a super soft elastic bottom band, which is actually quite true. The elastic band here is not suffocating, um, unlike a lot of Nike bras, sometimes it can get a little bit um, tight and I'll get like little marks here after the workout because it's way too tight. Getting more of the bra tops, I guess for my body type, the bra top um, I can wear size S, I don't mind trying out other bralettes in size S but for the pants, I think I would size down. Yeah, I feel that I have a broader upper body. Other than that, like, I think pretty good. Um, 7 or 8 upon 10. Um, knowing that the benchmark for 10 is Lululemon. So that one is kind of unbeatable. It's so comfy. Yeah, so anyways, this is the end of the try-on. I hope you guys like it. It's a very, very short try-on video because I didn't buy too many because, you know, I'm afraid of um, the quality and stuff. But I think I'll buy a little bit more um, from Fabletics, especially with um, the affordable price range. Um, yeah, so this is it. If you guys like it, remember to like and subscribe. And also follow me on my Instagram. Love you. Bye. <laughs>